one day at a time thing works really for everybody. It really does. It really does. And I totally, well, we'll, we'll talk more about it, but, um, I have several family members. My mom was in recovery for 14 years before she passed away. Um, I used to go to meetings all the time as a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> wow. I didn't know that. I did. That's something that I hadn't picked up on. What? So I know you, um, talk about your mom. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, let's talk a little more childhood was more mom and dad together, separated, divorced. Yeah. So they were married until I was in kindergarten and then they divorced and it was me and my brother. So then my brother naturally went with my dad and I stayed with my mom primarily lived with my dad one time for a very, very short span. Um, and just wanted to be back with my mom just cause I'm a woman and she's a girl. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds better. <laughs> uh, But um, she had severe, severe trauma in her life and turned to she was a nurse and um, she was stealing medication, prescription drugs. Uh, This is when we were in Portland um, and I was in third grade and she got caught and they gave her an ultimatum. They said, you either get sober or we're going to pull your nursing license. And. I think that that obviously was a thing that scared the shit out of my mom. And she got sober after that from the time I was in third grade until she passed away. Um, she relapsed twice. One was literally on a uh, margarita and one was on a uh, beer. She was having like, she was scared to like get married again. And she, she relapsed on that. Um, but yeah, until like, so I really wasn't around alcohol that much after third grade Mm. um i was always around in the program going to aa dances and (laughs) the whole shebang (laughs) so you learned how to party sober at a young age yeah yeah exactly 